Many people turned up and were blown away by the extravagant outfits and fashion design at the Lava Girl Explosion Fashion Show 2024. Marking 10 years of the Lava Girl brand, under its store Marco Gifts, the LGX show was a way of celebrating and commemorating Lava Girl's service to Papua New Guinea with PNG-inspired clothing and jewelry from all around the country. Leading the fashion show, founder and fashion designer for Marco Gifts, Anna Tsete, emphasized the importance of every collection and how much it means to her brand and organization. We want to be able to entertain people as well on the night. Yeah. So it's not just um, showing them a bunch of clothes, you know, and models. It's also for people to appreciate Papua New Guinea um, creativity in some way, shape or form. Ten collections with an overall 140 outfits were showcased on the runway. Collections began with Origin, Tabu, Coconuts, Croc and Leather, Walk Amongst the Mask and many others. One collection called Showtime was a playful collection showcasing Lava Girl's fun times, reminiscing on the years 2017 to 2018 when the business got into fashion shows. The fashion show came out with an explosion of various genres of clothes that can be worn for any occasion. Sete shared that her aim for this year is to focus more on different hairstyles and that is exactly what she did. Ten years ago, I wanted to start a small business that could um, support my family. Um, and then fast forward ten years later, we have 75 families um, that we are supporting. It also adds a bit of pressure and responsibility on my part as, you know, founder, director, CEO, whatever title you want to call. Um, but you feel that, you know, every day I have to perform, I have to get the, get out there, push the brand, push the sales in order to be able to feed all these um, families that have kind of not only come on for a job, but also share in the dream that I have. The LGX show is set to be the brand for all Lava Girl shows and will be an annual event moving forward. Jasmine Jack, TV1 News.